This is initial phase of burning. Temperature of chimney is ramping up uh, by about 10 degrees per minute. Currently is 60, 66 degrees Celsius. Chimney temperature. Here is the infrared sensor for measuring the surface temperature. So he's pointing right at chimney wall. View angle is narrow, so it doesn't miss the chimney wall. It measures the chimney exactly. Fire is burning up nicely. Secondary air is open, full. Primary air is also fully open. We'll keep it this way until temperature reaches about 120 degrees Celsius. So based on the four LEDs, now is, is heating up even faster. It's about 12, 13 uh, degrees per minute. Okay, see you later. Now fire is burning really fast. After reaching above 100 degrees Celsius, the decimal point removes. Uh, both secondary air and primary air are still fully open, waiting for the stove to heat up quickly. So now it's about 15 degrees per minute. This thermometer is on the metal legs, so he's distanced from the from the hot hot surface of the stove. This surface can be pretty hot, so metal there are metal distances for for keep the thermometer uh, uh, not so not so hot because it's made of plastic. Okay. Okay, now a little time has passed. After reaching about 120, we can now close the primary air door. Leave the primary air only on the butterfly. While secondary air can still be full open. Now fire will slow down. Uh, we will see that on these LEDs. So only only three LEDs are lighting up now. So it's 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 slowing down. It's slowing down. Two LEDs are are lit. It's about now. His uh, the speed of heating is about five six degrees per minute. So now it's 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 left on only one LED, and we can see the fire is of much lower intensity. So we leave it like this, and let the temperature goes up about 150. Then we can close primary air completely and let the secondary air half open. So now now the the heating is practically stopped. The temperature is about, it's not, it's, it's rising, but very, very slowly. So let's keep it this way. Since the temperature is not rising, it's even falling, which can be seen by this one red LED shining from the top to bottom. I will open the primary door and let it heat up a bit. So the temperature reaches about 130. Now we should see it rising up again, rising the temperature of the chimney now, yes. The first LED is lit, it means 
it's rising, which can be seen by the flame intensity. It rising to leds a lit, which means about six or seven degrees per minute. We let it go up to 130, 140. It's raising up quickly now, about 10 degrees per minute, which is indicated by free LEDs. This high chimney temperature is important because we don't, we don't want the creosote to, 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 uh, to uh, get to the inner, inner surface of the chimney pipe. This is why it is important to keep the temperatures high. Okay, it's 130, we can, we can close the door now. Leave it on the butterfly, it will slow down. He's slowing down. Let's keep it this way. Now the temperature has stabilized around 152 degrees. It's not going up or down. It's 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 uh, stable state, stationary state. The primary air is just little little open. The secondary is still full open. And just to show you how this uh, uh, instrument is sensitive, I will put the just a piece of paper in it and watch how the temperature on the chimney will rise. Will he will this device detect it? So just put it in. Just a piece of paper. So it's burning. Temperature is first going down and oh, let's go up, go up. He's going up. He's going up by two leads. Just from putting one single paper in the stove. Okay. For description about this instrument, you can find the link down below in the description. You can read more about it. And I will post the code and schematic, how you can do it your own. So like the video and see you next time.